right, and welcome back to another UEFN tutorial for Rocket Racing. Now, I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible and, you know, to the point. Uh, but today, we're going to be taking a look on how to create a secondary track uh, with your own track in rocket racing as well as you know even creating a track that's going to go on uh, terrain or rocks or something like that we're going to build this right here uh, so let's go ahead and jump in and just start off initially of what we're going to be doing now one thing i do want to say that i didn't say last time in the previous uh, tutorial uh, so if you do want to watch that that covers all the typical basics of you know setting up rocket racing one thing I never uh, actually set up on here. Okay, let's go ahead and move the style editor. If you click on this, if you didn't know, it brings up style editor. So let's go ahead and move that over here. But one thing I did not say is, you know, uh, if you want to add another point, another little spline point, uh, all you have to do is right click on the spline and click add spline point here and boom, there you go. Now you got a little extra spline point right there. So if you want to kind of make it a little, you know, maybe a chicane or something around this turn or something like, you know, you could do something like that. Just a real quick right click there and add spline point. There you go. You got a spline point right there. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is, you know, uh, taking this track and let's add some holes to it. So what you want to do is click right here on the road style. Uh, this is where you could change the road style to different types of things. You know, you could change it to the half pipe type of stuff or anything like that. But we're going to have none and that makes that disappear right here. Uh, so that's if you want to do shortcuts or like if this is separately shortcuts. But if you want to have the track force the player to jump onto something else, maybe have a big old pit and it falls. Uh, that's what you do. You just hit it to none uh, right there in the style editor. Uh, and then what you're going to need to do is head over to your content browser over here. And you could just search up. Uh, you could just search up. Um, well, I, I, honestly, you could look at the devices, just rocket racing things. I always like clicking Fortnite and then double clicking devices because it gives you all the rocket racing devices that you will need right there. And it's real easy. And if you search, you know, track, you could pick up other things that will pick up here. So, but you're just going to spawn in and just basically drag in another rocket racing track. Uh, so that's all you're gonna do now it defaultly heads you know sets to the secondary track Which is good. That's why it's blue uh, Like you see the lines are blue if you go to the device settings You'll see the track type is set to secondary right here primary is your main deal and then secondary right there uh, So let's say uh, let's go ahead and move this track right here and let's move it over and Let's go ahead and spin it up you know do a little something here and if you notice this secondary track is connected to to your primary right there uh, so that just makes it to where you know if you know this is where it connects uh, onto there uh, as you're racing so if it all of a sudden stretches and connects over there you don't want that you want to connect it to the nearest track here now let's say you're gonna go ahead and you know you can add another one if you want to add another secondary track in here uh, go ahead and add another one in there and if you notice this secondary track connects to this one right here so you can add you know as many as you want let's go ahead and you can make this all crazy if you want to uh, but there you go you go ahead and added another secondary track just something like that if you want to if you notice it connects it goes through everything and there we go now it's the same thing as uh, the regular track the regular spine if you want to extend it you just click on the node right there hold alt and then drag it out and look at that and see then you can go ahead and you can like curve it around you can do what you want you know you like go of that you go like this you can bend it this way bend it that way you know make it go up like this down like that and then you can turn it if you want uh, okay that's getting a little bit weird don't curve it too much I guess because uh, it gets a little bit weird but you get what I mean that basically does that right there if you want to actually like have a the weird turn <laughs> you know like the the additional spline so if it does go further and you want to turn around that's all you do you just treat it like a regular track hold alt and keep dragging uh, to you know the next one around there so there you go we have ourselves an extra secondary track here that you're gonna jump onto and drive along to be able to get over there this works for shortcuts now but what if you want to make it look 
like terrain. Like let's say this rock right here, I wanna drive on this rock, but I want it to act as a track itself. Now you could, of course, you know, jump onto this rock and drive just fine right there. Uh, but let's say we want to go ahead and let's have a shortcut here. Let's go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. And what if you have a shortcut, but it drives on terrain? Uh, that's something that, uh, you know, you may have. You, you may have something that drives on terrain. Uh, and so that's, you know, something you got to build for. Uh, so let's go ahead and move this around right here. So there you go. This driving on terrain. I know this isn't the smoothest terrain or anything like that, but you get the gist here. Let's go ahead and squeeze it down a little bit and let's squeeze that down a little bit there. And it's like, okay, so we got, we're going to have, you know, an extra track coming this way, a little shortcut here, uh, nothing too crazy. Um, and there we go. Now, the one thing that you're going to need to do is actually have another uh, rocket racing track right here because uh, you need to have the rocket racing track uh, following this piece right here. Ooh, man, let's go ahead and curve that uh, up right there and just have that go some something like that. So you're going to have to actually have it follow the path that you want the vehicles to drive. And so that's going to be this path right here. Now, I probably could have chosen a better object, uh, you know, to be able to drive on. Not this super bumpy object right here, but hey, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and make it a little complicated uh, you know, for this video here. So here, we're going to go ahead and have the track right there. Now, what you're going to be doing on here is, again, you've got to make the track disappear. you got to make it go away. But first, what we're going to do is we are going to actually curve this track uh, where we need to go. So what we're, we hold alt and we go ahead and drag this out over there. Okay, so that goes right here. Uh, let's go ahead and curve that down here. Go like something like this, like hold alt again. And that will again curve it right there. Uh, and it's slowly moving, oops, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, it's slowly moving around. And so let's hold alt right there again goes like that and let's go ahead and curve it and move it around over here and if you notice we are making this track just go perfectly where it needs to go uh, right here and yeah let's go ahead and stop it right there uh, so that is basically where the track is now the one thing you need to remember we need to make the track disappear you have to because you know you're not driving on the track you're driving on this cliff piece right here. Uh, hopefully this cliff piece is not bumpy. If it is, well, uh, ripperonis. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> uh, that's what that is gonna be right there. If you notice, it does have the curved spline uh, that is going right there, it's connecting there. Now, but the thing is though, let's say you wanna actually make this the active track as you're racing. So that basically making it the active track will, you know, will work where uh, whenever the player is on this, it'll still affect all the, you know, like the positioning of the track, say, you know, first, second, third, and all that type of stuff and everything. So you, what you want to do is have an active track volume uh, right there at the start uh, whenever they jump through and they get to this location right here. Uh, and you want to make sure, of course, your active track volume is connected to your secondary track. It goes through uh, the invisible secondary track. You got to make sure it does that. Uh, and you can, of course, extend this however you want uh, to make sure that actually happens. You know, you don't want to make it too large, uh, but you don't want to make it too small because just in case people, you know, come in on it uh, much higher, like let's say they jump and they go really high, you don't want them to make them go over the volume. Uh, so right here, they're going to jump onto here, and that makes this track right here their active track. And so it'll still count towards everything, like the you know the the position of their vehicle compared to all the other cars. And this will also help with respawning. That's one thing that you need to remember: is that whenever you have your track selected, and you want to be able to have you know it, it capable of being respawned on here. So let's say you have a checkpoint on this, and you want to have it capable of being respawned on this piece of terrain. What you're going to be doing is selecting one of the nodes, the spline points right here. And then you right here, you're going to be selecting this 
force hidden track respawns. So this is a hidden track, but I want to force respawns onto this hidden track. Uh, normally that is off because you don't want to normally have a respawn on a hidden track, but just in case your track does need that, uh, that's whenever you do want to have, you know, that force hidden track respawn is checked right there. Um, and then you're good to go uh, with respawns on this actual hidden track. Uh, so that's pretty much it right there. I will jump into the actual game. I'll push these changes. I'll jump into the actual game so y'all can see this actually go. Uh, and But that is really it. Now, if there's anything else that y'all do want to be able to see, uh, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below and like the video and just, you know, say what y'all would like to be able to see with Rocket Racing. Uh, and if I don't know how to do it, I will try to figure out how to do it and everything uh, to be able to show everyone. And if this was a little bit confusing, I'm so sorry. I tried to explain it as simply as I could. Uh, but if you have any questions, I will try to answer them down in the comments down below. So let's go ahead and push these changes here. Uh, save this selected. And then we'll go ahead and jump in and try this out. Okay, now we are in here and we are driving and look at our ugly track. Uh, but there we go. We drive it on one, drive on the other. Let's go ahead and jump off and boom, we went ahead and landed on that one. So you can tell our little side area there was fantastic. Our checkpoints are working fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep going around here. We are going to come over to this other one. I'm just praying that that terrain piece is actually smooth, uh, but it may not be. And it's not exactly smooth, but oh my gosh, we'll do a flip. But hey, we landed it. That's part. It's all about the style points, everyone. Uh, but you know, it wasn't exactly smooth, but it worked. And that's basically what you do. Now, I will be coming out with some more tutorials going over some of the obstacles and things like that that you can do. I want to kind of break it up to make the video shorter. Uh, ooh, see if we can make it all the way here. Yes, we can. Ooh, barely. Uh, but yeah, you know, all the obstacles and as well as some other little tricks and stuff like that on there. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe uh, to here on Fortnite Features for more UEFN content. And I will see y'all in the next one.